And if you're new to my channel, I am Inside Dale. And in my channel, I upload my travel vlogs every Tuesdays and makeup tutorials or makeup hauls every Thursday. So if you like my content, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me and to my channel, and don't forget to click that notification bell to keep you updated on my future uploads. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I create this look using my Colourpop Olala palette. So in this video, I'm going to show you some swatches, tutorials, and reviews using this palette. So without further ado, let's go on with the tutorial. Keep watching! Before I start, I'll prime my eyelids using my MAC Paint Pots in Painterly and I'm using a brush to spread it evenly before applying my eyeshadow. For today's makeup tutorial, I'm using my Colourpop Olala palette and I'm gonna dip my buffing brush to the shade Chauve on the palette to apply on my crease. Using my buffing brush, I'm blending well the shadow trove on my crease for transition shade. With the same brush, I'm dipping it on the shadow caddy and applying it over my crease and blending it together with the transition shade. Taking my small pencil brush, I'm dipping it on the trove shadow and applying it under my eyelids and blending it well. With the same shadow on my pencil brush, I'm gently applying it on the inner V. Taking my buffing brush, I'm dipping the shadow opulent and just blending it above my crease. Now I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush and dipping it in the shadow soft core and just putting it under my eyebrows for highlight and cleaning up and buffing up some rough edges. And now we are doing the cut crease method. So I'm taking in the concealer and putting it with the flat shader brush and applying it on my eyelids and I'm gently spreading it over my eyelids I'm using my pencil brush and just defining my inner V and adding more depth And now I'm taking the flat shader brush and dipping it to the shadow Big Sugar. It's a shimmery color and adding it on the middle of my eyelids. Just tapping it gently and creating the more pigmented look on my eyelids.
and now I'm taking a even smaller brush flat brush and taking in the moon shadow and just dabbing it gently on my inner eyelids and smoothening the transition between the middle shadow and the inner one and I'm just taking in the flat shader brush and just blending all the colors together to make a very smooth transition between the eyeshadow colors using my real techniques brush I'm just buffering some rough edges and smoothening our shadow and again with my small pencil brush I'm taking the shadow caddy and just deepening it and placing it under my eyelids so let me put on my mascara and my false lashes and I'll give you the final look Guys, this is the palette, the ColourPop Olala palette. It is a nine shade palette. It has a sturdy case and it comes with a mirror and wait for trouble. And this is the shade. So I'm gonna swatch the shade for you guys so that you can see how pigmented and how blendable this uh, palette is. So we'll start with the first row. It's tickled soft core and poodle so this is how it looks like on my finger let's watch it for you this one is a nice shimmery one it's tickled next is soft core next is poodle creamy formula of the color pop next stop next row is big sugar big sugar oh look at that the opulent one Third is sandbar, very hot pink shade. Look at that shade. And the last row is gold. That's all the swatches of the shadow. And my final thoughts for this shadow. I love the packaging. So if you like this kind of vibe or if you just want to reach out a pinky kind of color shade, just pick this eyeshadow, the Olala from ColourPop, and you can create different looks, pink looks using this palette. So it is very handy. It's a nine shadow palette. I love it because there's just like few options that you can use and you can create uh, lots of colors or lots of looks using this palette. It has a sturdy case and it has a name, the name of the shadow on the back. 
and it comes with of course a mirror which is a very plus um, option and this is the very the shadow I love the color story of it I love the look that I have created you can create a cut crease look a hello look or anything using this palette this is so versatile very blendable formula pigmented and very soft when you swatch or you when you um, do the shadow and it's very blendable what I noticed some of the palettes or the eyeshadows have a kick off on the palette and there's like a few shades like this one has a minimal fall off but I'm not mad about it so I don't mind and yeah it's a very nice color story very affordable from Colourpop and a very easy to use palette good for travel and you can create yeah lots of looks using this palette and very handy so I would recommend to get one of this palette and with the looks that I have created I'm really really I'm satisfied and I hope you do too so yeah let me know your thoughts about this palette if you already have this one I want to hear your thoughts how you I also know how you create also how uh, your how you create your looks using this palette so please let me know in your comments down below what you think of this palette and what do you think about the look that I have created and I think this is all for my video right now for today I hope you enjoyed watching and please do for don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on my next video thank you so much for watching you guys see you and take care